Every night, we look up and see stars twinkling merrily in the sky. But most people hardly ever take a moment to think about their origins, age and how far away they are. But some stars are practically the same age as the universe. Just imagine, many stars were born at the same time with the universe and strange as it may seem are just as luminous as young ones. According to scientific estimates, our universe is approximately 13.8 billion years old. We can't but admit that this figure is rather impressive compared to the age of the Earth, for example, which is just four and a half billion years. I wonder if you've ever heard about the Methuselah star, also known as HD 140283. So what's so special about this star? Incidentally, it's age, which according to scientists is over 14 billion years. Extraordinary, isn't it? Let's take a look at it then. But before we set off on our journey through the universe, I'd like to remind you of my channel in Telegram. There I tell you about various phenomena in space, post images of remote planets and share other exciting content. If you are also into things going on out there, feel free to subscribe. The link is in this video's description. Now back to the story. As I've already mentioned, the universe is over 13.8 billion years old. So how can it possibly contain a star older than itself? For more than a hundred years, astronomers have been observing a strange star 190 light years away from the Earth in the constellation Libra. It travels at a speed of about 1.3 million kilometers per hour. But its most peculiar feature is its age. HD 140283 is considered one of the oldest stars in the universe known to science today. In the year 2000, scientists tried to estimate its age. They were guided by data that had been collected by the Hipparchus satellite launched by the European Space Agency and thus they got the figure of 16 billion years. The generally accepted age of the universe was 13.8 billion years, which had been confirmed by observations. The discrepancy between the two values prompted a lot of debate. How can a star be older than the universe? Or else, how can the universe be younger than a star? As for its unusual name, the star was dubbed after a biblical character Methuselah who, according to scripture, lived to be 969 years old. The star Methuselah is clearly genuinely old. It is none other than a subgiant consisting mainly of hydrogen and helium. It contains a negligible amount of iron, which may only mean that this object was formed before iron had become such a widespread element. But how can a star be about 2 billion years older than the environment it finds itself in? It appeared to be a perplexing paradox. Astronomer Howard Bond and his colleagues from Pennsylvania State University proceeded to double-check the value of the star's age. They too were struck by the fact that Methuselah had been born before the universe. In their task, they had to go through 11 observational datasets collected in the period from 2003 to 2011 by the fine guidance sensors of the Hubble Space Telescope. The sensors measure stars' positions, distances and radiation energy. It is possible to produce precise results in estimating the age of an object by studying its parallax and using spectroscopy and photometry. According to Bond, not knowing the precise distance to HD 140283 remained one of the reasons the age may have been gauged wrongly. The distances had to be scrupulously measured in order to calculate the object's luminosity with a view to estimating the object's age. The brighter the star, the younger it actually is. The scientists were also studying the parallax and keeping watch on the star's position in the sky for a year. Theoretical models also left a lot to be desired. The scientists were uncertain as to the precise rate of nuclear reactions and couldn't put their finger on the role of diffusion of certain elements in the star's outer layers. That is why the team considered the possibility of a faster thermonuclear synthesis. If the star really burned faster than ordinary ones do, then it was supposed to be really younger than previously estimated. 
Bond added that oxygen at HD140283 also had to be reckoned with. The ratio of oxygen to iron was rather high. And in the first millions of years of the universe's evolution, there wasn't that much oxygen around. This was another piece of evidence confirming Methuselah's younger age. Eventually, the value Bond and his colleagues produced was 14.46 billion years plus minus 800 million years. This, of course, is significantly less than 16 billion, but still more than the age of the universe, not counting the margin of error of 800 million years. According to Robert Matthews, a British physicist from Aston University in Birmingham who wasn't on the research team, the estimates may have been corrupted by both accidental and systematic errors. The most precise up-to-date value of the star's age was in conflict with the age of the universe calculated using relic radiation. The conflict could be resolved only by giving the result the larger margin of error. In later research, the star was gauged to be still younger. In 2014, a study titled Sequel was published, where the authors lowered the estimate of Methuselah's age to 14.27 billion years but admittedly, there was still the margin of error of 7,800 million years. Strangely, the star's age still beat that of the universe. According to Bond, the similarity between the values of the age of the universe and its oldest star proves the consistency of the Big Bang theory. Besides, the values were produced by different methods of analysis. Thanks to meticulous observations, the results are not as scattered as they were in the 1990s, when ancient stars were estimated at 19 or even 20 billion years. At least now, the inaccuracies do not clash with the accepted models. Robert Matthews, however, maintains that the issue is anything but solved. As recently as in July 2019, scientists participated in an international cosmology conference at the Kavli Institute for Theoretical Physics in Santa Barbara, California, where they analyzed studies of the universe's supposed age. Judging by the galaxies nearest to us, the universe is several hundred million years younger than suggested by the results of relic radiation calculations. Moreover, for all we know, our universe may turn out to be just 11.4 billion years old, and the new estimates shouldn't be casually dismissed. After all, one of the authors was a Nobel Prize laureate, astrophysicist Adam Rees, from the Space Telescope Science Institute STSCI. The conclusions are drawn on the concept of the universe's expansion, suggested by Edwin Hubble back in 1929. The expansion of the universe is a fundamental concept in the Big Bang Theory. If the universe has always been expanding, shouldn't there be a starting point for the process that could be calculated? According to the latest data, the rate of expansion is in fact 10% higher than suggested by Planck. According to Planck's team, the rate of the universe's expansion is 67.4 km per second per megaparsec. The latest measurements produce the value of around 73-74 km per second per megaparsec. Rees maintains that there should be a difference between the real rate of expansion today and the rate implied by the physics of the early universe. Firstly, it is obvious that accepted theories have to be seriously questioned. And secondly, there is the dark matter and dark energy riddle. Since the Hubble constant produces a bigger value for the rate of expansion, it suggests that the universe is younger than we think. The 67.74 constant corresponds to the age of 13.8 billion years. The 73 or even 77 constant corresponds to the age of not more than 12.7 billion years. Quite recently, a study was published in the science magazine which claims the Hubble constant to be 82.4. It should be mentioned it's a well-reputed magazine. The 82.4 constant corresponds to the age of 11.4 billion years. Either way, the star HD 140283 still appears older than the universe.
Matthews believes this is a task to be handled by cosmologists rather than astrophysicists. To define the age precisely, it isn't stars that have to be studied, but more complex structures of the universe. So why would the universe appear younger than this one star? Matthews suggests at least two possible explanations. As is so often the case with a history of science, the end result is likely to turn out to be a combination of the two versions. In short, there may be observation errors caused by something we do not fully understand and also there may be some blanks in our knowledge of the universe's dynamics. For example, the dark matter force, which as it were has been in charge of the expansion of the universe for billions of years, is still rather baffling to us. Thus, the age paradox could well be accounted for by dark energy variations and changes in the expansion rate. According to theorists, all this may have to do with the fundamentals of the nature of gravity, in particular the causal set theory which leads us to believe that by measuring gravitational waves, we may get to the bottom of the paradox. Gravitational waves are hard to measure. Just to give you an idea, they were first detected as recently as in 2015. Astrophysicist Stephen Feeney from the Flatiron Institute believes that a major scientific breakthrough on this front may take place in the next thousand years. And the bizarre phenomenon of the age of HD 140283 is bound to reveal larger and more scientifically complex things that are yet to be discovered and explored. Today we are able to access a lot of information about space objects, discoveries in astronomy and studies of prominent scientists. It is quite within our power to share this information and bring as many inquiring minds up to date as possible. If you are as impressed by such like discoveries and incredible facts, do share this video with friends or simply hit the like button or the bell button. We will greatly appreciate it. Let's keep in touch.